or welcome back to my channel. This is Marie Vicky, the Beahirang Bisdak sa Norway. Once again, thank you so much for tuning in to my channel and to all my subscribers and supporters. Thank you for supporting me in so many ways. In today's vlog guys, I'm gonna share with you the art, the triumph, and the museum inside, and also the Les Quatre Thames, or better known as West Field Les Four Thames. It is located at La Defense in Paris, okay? The Arc de Triomphe d'Etoile is one of the most famous monuments in Paris standing at the western end of the Champs Elysees at the center of Place Charles de Gaulle, formerly named Place d'Etoile. Etoile means star. Arc de Triomphe honors those who fought and died for France in the French Revolutionary and Napoleonic Wars with the names of all the French victories and generals inscribed on its inner and outer surfaces. The Arc de Triomphe has an overall height of 50 meters with of 45 meters and depth of 22 meters while its large vault is 29.19 meters high and 14.62 meters width. The Arc de Triomphe Museum A small museum is located inside the Arc de Triomphe. It is entirely devoted to the history of the monument. From its construction in the early 19th century to the present day. In addition to the visiting the museum, we can also enter the observation deck. Les Quatre Thames or the Westfield Les Four Thames is the main shopping center in the business district of La Défense in the western suburb of Paris. Les Quatre Thames is the most visited shopping center in France. It has 220 stores, 48 restaurants, and 24 screen movie theater. La Défense is named after the statue La Défense de Paris by Louis Ernest Arias which was erected in 1883 to commemorate the soldiers who had defended Paris during Franco-Prussian War. In September 1958, the public establishment for installation of La Defense or EPOD buildings of which the ESO Tower was the very first were built and began to slowly replace the city's factories, shanties, and even new farms. The center of new industries and technologies was built and first used in 1958. These first-generation skyscrapers were all very similar in appearance, limited to a height of 100 meters. In the early 1970s, in response to great demand, a second generation of buildings began to appear, but the economic crisis in 1973 nearly halted all constructions in the area, and a third generation of towers began to appear in early 1980s. Eating lunch with my friends who are living in Paris. Thank you for watching. See you again next Sunday. Bye.